Welcome to Quantum's online training videos. In this video, we discuss how to set parameters in the SKF, MLP, and MLPI control units in the SKF multi-lube auto greaser systems. Just as a warning, to adjust the control unit parameters, we will be using the display on the front of the control unit. Please pack your patience. Be prepared to press the buttons firmly and slowly to complete this process in a time-efficient manner and to avoid losing your sanity. First of all, there are two types of parameters in the control unit, functional parameters and standard parameters. The functional parameters determine the basic operation principles of the control unit, that being the principle that the auto greasers two outlet grease ports are pressurized sequentially. In each of the auto greasers lubrication cycles, grease is pumped in turn to outlet port one and then to outlet port two. This type of operation is functional mode G2 in the control unit. The functional mode is displayed very quickly when the control unit is powered on. If G2P is indicated, then all is good. No change is required. Otherwise, the mode must be changed via the functional programming mode accessed with password 222. Functional programming mode is also used to change the pressure indication units on the display. Normally, these values are provided in bar. The second type of parameters are the ones we are more familiar with, standard parameters. The standard parameters include set points for the lubrication cycle, maximum pumping time, low pressure set point, and high pressure set point. To adjust standard parameters, use the password 103. Before adjusting any parameters, it is good practice to locate the prescribed set points provided by Quantum's engineering department. If Quantum supplied the automatic greaser for the boat, then you should find an auto greaser central piping arrangement drawing in the drawing package that Quantum supplied. In this drawing is a table which indicates the auto greaser parameter set points. To adjust any parameter, functional or standard, first check that the control unit is powered. You should see three digits and a decimal if the unit is powered. Next, Press the green up button to navigate through the standard parameters. Lubrication cycle, C. Maximum pumping time, P. Low pressure set point, PLO. And high pressure set point, PHI. Check the values shown on the display against the values in the automatic greaser central piping arrangement drawing. Make note of any changes needed. To enter programming mode, be sure to stop navigating through the display when any one of the standard parameters is displayed. Then press the set button. The letters PPP -P -P will appear on the display, indicating that parameter adjustment is password controlled. Remember that the password you enter here will change depending on the type of parameter to be adjusted. If you are adjusting a functional parameter, the password is 222. If you are adjusting a standard parameter, the password is 103. Enter the password slowly and carefully following this order. The digits must be changed one at a time, left to right on the display. The selected digit blinks. The leftmost P is selected first. Use the green up button to increase the number of the selected digit. The numbers cycle zero through nine and then back to zero again. To proceed to the next digit to the right, press the blue right arrow button. Continue for all three digits in the password. Then press set to submit the password. The control unit displays ACC if the password is correct and accepted. The control unit displays ERR if the password is incorrect. If you enter the password incorrectly, God save you. Then start all over again, 
by using the green up arrow to navigate the parameters, press set, etc. Once you have successfully entered the password, use the green up arrow button to navigate to the parameter to be changed. Note that scrolling past the last parameter exits you from programming mode. Press set to adjust the parameter. Enter the new set point for the parameters, slowly and carefully, like you did for the password, following this order. The digits must be changed one at a time, left to right on the display. The selected digit blinks. Use the green up button to increase the number of the selected digit. The numbers cycle 0 through 9 and then back to 0 again. To proceed to the next digit to the right, press the blue right arrow button. For the lubrication cycle time, C, parameter, the decimal location can also be adjusted. Remember that hours are indicated to the left of the decimal and minutes are indicated to the right. Press the blue right arrow button once more after the rightmost digit is selected and use the green up button to adjust the decimal location. In this case, we are setting lubrication cycle to 30 minutes, so we want 0, decimal, 3, 0 to indicate 0 hours and 30 minutes. Press set to save the parameter. You can continue in this way to adjust each parameter. Once you are done adjusting parameters, press the blue right arrow button to exit programming mode. Alternatively, scrolling past the last parameter will also cause you to exit programming mode. Since this process can be a total pain in the hiney, I recommend checking your work. Use the green up arrow button to navigate through the parameters and check that they are correctly set. After programming is finished, the control unit will operate based on the changed program parameters. Changed parameters are saved in the control unit memory and will be retained in case of a power outage. And that's how to adjust parameters in the MLP and MLPI control units for the SKF Multilube Automatic Greaser System. Well done!